soccer math. <laughs> One, two, three. Ooh. Oh, uh, 25. Look, it's the neighborhood's best soccer player. About time you got here. I've been waiting all day to play. We had a bunch of homework today. A whole backpack of it. And have you finished your homework today already, Theo? Pretty much. I only have a little bit of math left to work on, but I just don't want to do it. How is it even useful anyway? Hmm. <sighs> huh? <laughs> Whoa. Whoa! Soccer's way better than math. <laughs> okay, it's game time. Whoa. Is it soccer time? Can we play with you guys? Sure, come join our team. Zoe and Theo can be on their own team. <gasps> okay. Uh, I'm not so sure. <sighs> Zoe, over to you. <sighs> oh dear. Hmm, pass to me. It appears the green team has scored one goal. Hooray! <laughs> well, let's keep going, you guys. Heads up, Zoe. Yeah. Whoa! Theo, come here! On my way. Hurry! Huh? <laughs> 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 So, how come they've scored a whole lot and not us? Because there's so many more of them. Just count them. Hmm. I count them at school already. I don't want to count for fun. Listen, Theo. Now their team has <laughs> one, two, <laughs> three, four, five? No, Yay. four. Uh, they have four players, and we only have two. Well, that isn't fair. Looks like we should have a more equal number of players, like three. Maybe. Yes, you're right. Oh, hey Snowy, you want to help be our goalie? For Team Orange. Okay, I would love to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hooray! Ah. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Hooray! Go Orange, go, go team. team! Winning is our dream! It's a bit more fun now with three against three. <laughs> oh, can't use your hands. Those are the rules. I forgot. It's time for a penalty kick. Penalty kicks are at 11 meters. A meter is maybe about like so far. Hmm? Uh, no, that far. Ah. Uh? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Hmm, I think that's fine. Good players should be able to kick from any spot they want. Eleven. Okay. Hey! Ha ha. <clears throat> oh! Oh! <laughs> Good players should really know how to kick from 11 meters. It's all good. We'll be fine, though. Heads up, here's the ball. <laughs> awesome, Zoe. That one is as good as ours. <laughs> Guess it's not as good as ours. But I don't see how. We scored so many goals today. The orange team scored four points. They scored five. You see? <sighs> I don't want to count. But you have to count sometimes, even in soccer. It looks like they have five, we have four. So if we want to tie, we need... Oh, just one more. Heads up! 
And the game is a tie. Hooray! Yay! That was so much fun. Great game, you guys. Turns out counting isn't completely useless, long as you're counting goals. Oh. Or maybe counting pies. Who wants a snack? Oh, who gets this very last one? Whoever could use the energy to do their math homework. That'd be me. Where are my textbooks again? <laughs> Too many raisins. <laughs> oh, wow. <sighs> I just love it when Village Fair comes around. Everyone makes all these yummy treats and we get to eat. <laughs> yeah. We're going to make a mushroom pie today. What are you guys going to make? <gasps> oh. Dad, oh. what kind of treat are we making for the village fair? What do we have in here? Aha! Hup. Yeah! My specialty is a big raisin muffin. My granny used to make them for me many years ago. Ha. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's get to baking already. Ah. White flour. <laughs> Cup of milk, two large eggs. Ooh. Well, what do you know? We're out of raisins. So no muffin. We can't just stop in the middle. No, we're going to finish our muffins. We got this. We will ask to borrow some raisins. Uh, oh. Hmm. 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 Good morning, Ouch. Lizzie. Hello. Could you lend us some raisins for our raisin muffins? Pretty please. Uh, raisins? Uh-huh. Hmm. They're on the bottom shelf, Lizzie. Oh. Some walnuts? Some cinnamon? Oh. Ooh! Our missing mixer part. And there. Whoa. Lizzie, we'll help you out, okay? Let us help. <gasps> oh! Mm. Uh. <gasps> uh. Mm. Hooray! It's all fixed! <laughs> <laughs> now my mom can make something extra special for the fair. Thanks for your help. Sure thing, Lizzie. Bye! <laughs> <gasps> oh, Zoe, we forgot about the raisins we were gonna borrow. Oh, yeah. Well, never mind. Maybe we can go ask Gray. I mean, it's too late to go back now. Good morning, Ms. Wolf. Good morning. Gray, watch that dough until I get back, please. Uh-huh. So, Gray, we were wondering if we could borrow some raisins. Gotcha. Whoa, Gray, look. <gasps> oh! No, no, no! Fear not. Will Doe, I mean, we'll show that Doe who's the boss here. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Ooh. Huh? Huh? <laughs> Phew. Now I can make all kinds of pies with my mom. Thanks, you guys. Don't mention it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Zo, we forgot all about the raisins again. Uh, Nick lives over there. Let's ask him. There we go. Hey there, Nick. Zo and I were wondering if you could lend us some raisins for some muffins we're making. Hi there. Sure I can. Hmm. Oh, are you making sugar cookies for the fair? Uh-huh. But my icing's not coming out very good at all. <gasps> We, we can, can help, help you out, out Nick. Nick. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. <gasps> See? It's easy when you get the hang of it. 
Hey, thanks, you guys. Think nothing of it, my friend. We are more than happy to lend a hand. <laughs> we'll see you later at the fair, Nick. Da -dee -da -dee. Oh. <laughs> wow, smushing that dough was fun. So was fixing Lizzie's mixer, right? And Nick's cookie frosting was so yummy. Well, kids, did you bring the raisins? Oh, no! We helped all of our friends out, but now we can't make our muffins. No raisin muffins for the fair. Hmm. Ah, who needs raisins anyhow? We'll make a new recipe. We'll use dried cranberries. This will be a whole new muffin experience. Whoa. I was going to suggest it to you earlier, but you both ran out so quickly. Oh, boy. A whole new recipe. Huh? You forgot your raisins. I got your raisins. Did somebody ask for raisins? Whoa, that's Hooray! awesome. Hooray! Thanks, everyone. A real, true friend will never leave you without raisins. I have a feeling this might be too many raisins for our muffin recipe. Oh! Mm. So, what's this called? A raisin pie. Have some. And that? We call it Raisin Punch. Hey, what's best? Yummy Raisin Jam. <laughs> Raisiny. This is a real raisin party. And it's, it's also, also a friend. <laughs> A spring miracle. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Do you feel it, Bo? <laughs> I guess it's wet and really cold. Springtime is here. The best time of the year. <gasps> oh. Hello! <gasps> My mommy and I were in the woods, and you know what we saw? A springtime miracle! A miracle? No way! We could use a spring miracle. Show us, Michael. Michael, is it a great big miracle? It's lots of tiny little miracles all put together to make one giant one. Look! Ooh. That's amazing. Cool. Yes, a miracle. They're called snowdrops, spring's messengers. Just look at them. They're so pretty. Yeah, and so white. The same color as snow. Aren't they? Right, Bo. And flowers that can grow through the snow are a miracle. These blossoms are very rare. One shouldn't pick them. Hmm? Michael, thank you for showing this beautiful miracle to us. My, we've been walking for a long time. Let's venture home. It truly is a miracle. Yeah, beautiful. Oh, well. Maybe we should share this miracle with Mom. <laughs> no, 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 no. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Mom, we're home. <laughs> Here. <gasps> no, no, no. My little flower. My miracle. Did it die? What? You picked the snowdrops? Now they won't ever grow back. You should never have picked them, Bo. But snowdrops are the messengers of spring. And if none of them ever grow back, then spring might not ever come. It will. We just have to make sure nobody else picks them. <sighs> <sighs> Kids, where are you going? Chasing miracles. <laughs> Dear me, this certainly is a pity. Who tore these snowdrops out? 
It was me. I did it. And now they won't ever, ever grow again. I'm going to stand right here and guard the rest of them. I'm not leaving here, and I won't move till springtime. Uh. If it ever comes again... Then you'll need some help. Stay right here. <sighs> I'll help you, Bull. There. Good. There's another. I'll count them. <sighs> There's one, two, three, four. <sighs> Boy, I wish I could go home and have lunch. I'm hungry. Go have a bite. You've been working so hard watching over these flowers. But you need to eat sometime, Bo. I wish I could go, but I can't go. Here, Bo. Have a bite. How will I watch my flowers at night? What do you think so? Will Mom let me bring my bed all the way here? Mm -hmm. There you are. I heard all about the big spring miracle. <laughs> so I decided to come out and see it for myself. Look, see? It's a whole bunch of miracles. Yes, aren't they lovely? But over here are the miracles I ruined. Bo, someone left these snowdrop bulbs in our yard. Do you know where they came from? Huh? If you bury them in the soil, we'll have lots of flowers when the spring comes. Hooray! Hooray! Spring, spring is, is coming! coming. There you go, darling. <laughs> you see, Bo? <laughs> There's no need to be sad after all. Everything can be fixed. You stay right here and make sure no one picks any more flowers. Huh? Spring came after all, and next spring, we'll all have even more miracles. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> Tandem! <laughs> hmm. Good morning, Lizzie. Those guys are flying their kite over there. Well, I'm assembling a tandem. Huh? A bicycle for two. Could you hand me the steering wheel? Okay. Okay. Makar, that wheel is for a boat. Well, I think this one looks kind of cool. Hmm, interesting. But the bicycle was invented before, so we're just assembling it. Hmm. Invented, huh? But I came up with something more interesting. But you shouldn't do that. Just follow the drawing. Who says I have to? But this is the right way. These are the rules. I was only trying to help. Honest. But you didn't help. You got in the way. Are you two fighting? Hurry up and be friends again. We're gonna fly our kite. Makar started it, so he should say sorry. <laughs> Whoa! What do you think we should do? I've got a plan. Hmm. Ah. Hello, Lizzie. I just composed a brand new poem. I was gonna recite it for everyone, but then I thought you'd probably do it better. Hmm. I'll give it a try. It's fun to spend time with your friends every day, for friends are so special and dear. <laughs> if I do say so, this idea is brilliant. Lizzie will recite Gray's friendship poem, Makar will hear it, and then he'll be Lizzie's friend again. Hello, Lizzie. I really need to say this to you. I didn't really mean. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> and if your friend, perchance, is very busy, and you get in their way and cause a tizzy. <gasps> huh. I'll show her. Hmm. Now, I'm never going to say I'm sorry. Hmm. Wait, come back, Makar. It's not about you. <clears throat> Makar, uh, could you help me? I need a group portrait for the exhibition. What do you say? <gasps> <gasps> Makar will finish the portrait 
and Lizzie and him will be next to each other. Aha! Ben will see it and be good friends once more. <laughs> we'll pose for the portrait, and the ones who aren't in it will use a photo. Okay? Well, I guess we could try it. Hmm. Huh? so mean to you before, but, oh, uh, whoa! <gasps> you, you ruined my face! How mean! Lizzie! <laughs> Makar, are you and Lizzie going to be friends again now? Yeah, we've been trying to get you two to make up. With a poem. And a portrait. But that's not gonna work. We're the ones who have the fight. Hmm. And we're the ones who have to make up. Uh... Huh? <gasps> Whoa! Sure is some bicycle you've got there. Isn't it hard to pedal by yourself? No, Mr. Carrotton. It's not hard. Well, okay. <laughs> but it isn't very fun. If I had a friend, maybe. Enough! It's time for me to make up with Makar! Huh? <gasps> now, I'll make up with Lizzie. Makar! Are those bees attacking? I'm coming! <sighs> What's the matter, Lizzie? Hop on quick! Lean on the pedals! But why? To get away from those mean bees! I saw you waving your hands so I. Ah! <laughs> 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 I didn't see any bees. Ah! <laughs> you know, I was going to see you. <gasps> wow, I was just going to see you. Let's make, make up. up. <laughs> I kind of got in the way while you were building your bike. Sorry, Lizzie. Well, I think if bikes were invented a long time ago, there's always room for improvements, right? I don't think they're coming. We've got to launch it soon, or there won't be any more wind left. <sighs> Ooh. You can attach it to our bicycle, or should I say our tandem. Are you two friends again? You, you bet, bet we are. are. Hooray! <laughs> A new winter game. Grandpa, can we play hockey now? Of course you can, Nick. Just finish sweeping it off. Be careful, have fun. Thank you. Game time. <laughs> Hey, Lizzie. Hey, Gray. How come you don't have your hockey sticks? How are we going to play a game? We thought instead we'd try figure Whoa. skating. <laughs> That's all fine and stuff, but hockey comes first. Wait a sec. We got here the same time as you guys. Why can't we have the ice rink first? This ice is here to stay. Everyone will have plenty of time. Okay, everyone. We'll solve this with a game. Whoever guesses which hand has the puck, they get the rink first. Hmm. <clears throat> you go first. Nice. <sighs> we can play once you guys are finished here. Uh-huh. Hang on. Yeah, I 
guess they are pretty good, huh? Uh-huh. <gasps> Time's up! Oh, man. We were just getting to the good part. It's time to play hockey! <laughs> This will be the best goal ever! Oh, come on! You can't be serious! <laughs> this whole thing just isn't working. Yeah, true. It's a big pond. There should be enough space for everyone. Okay. How about we share? Have seats? Oh, yeah. That works. <laughs> it's perfect. <laughs> Guys, watch it! Oh my. <laughs> 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 Someone from our team, see? <sighs> this is not working. Poor Mr. Carradine cleared the pond for nothing. I just wish there was a way we could share the pond. Are you sure you don't want to play hockey? Mm mm. You wouldn't be interested in figure skating with us, would you? Hmm? Mm mm. <sighs> Grandpa, what should we do? You worked so hard cleaning it off. If only everyone could find a way to skate. Together. Hmm. Oh. Hey, guys, look. Huh? I think I know what we can do. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. You've invented some new kind of cool game. Our very own special kind of winter sport. Something like mountain sledding, hockey, and figure skating. <laughs> That's the spirit, buddy. We can always come up with creative solutions if we try. Can you, Grandpa, give it a go? <sighs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh. How sweet was that trick? Till he disappeared. <laughs> Hello. Oh, wow. I call dibs on the first round of this game. I'm down. Let's go. Hooray! New sport! sport. <laughs> <laughs> no solution like a snow solution. <laughs> <laughs> Trouble for Timmy. <laughs> so, Bo, what's up? Come see. He's a bear who says his name. Look! Ooh, neat. Snowy, Angela. Hi, Timmy. Nice to meet you. You're the coolest bear ever. Do you think Timmy might be hungry? Yeah, we should probably get Timmy some bear food. Uh-huh. How about some cereal for you? Oh, my. 
<laughs> Good boy, Timmy. Now Timmy wants to turn on the swings. <laughs> ha! Okay. <laughs> Look, check it out, guys. That tree is walking. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> What's this huge thing? This here is our brand new orange tree. Gonna bring it over to our house. Ooh. How neat! A real life orange tree! <laughs> Am I allowed to eat an orange right now? Sure thing. Though we should probably wash it off first. Uh-huh. <laughs> Help me bring it home. <laughs> Come back. <laughs> you forgot Timmy. So, have you two finished all your homework? Not yet. Uh, just a sec. Oh. Uh... Should we leave him alone out here? No, he'll get all wet. We should take him back home with us and give him back later. Good idea. <laughs> there, carefully. <laughs> all aboard the bear train. Magic Express! Chugga, 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 chugga. Doo -doo. Let's go, friend. Time to get you back to Angela and Snowy. Hey! Not yet. I'll give it back. No, me! Hmm. <laughs> 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 How can we return him now? There must be a way to fix him. Oh! Nice! <gasps> so this isn't working. Now Angela and Snowy are never gonna play with us ever again. What would happen if we just didn't tell them that we brought Timmy home with us? Hmm. Um... Uh-huh. Hi. Hello, Mrs. Sheep. What are you doing over here? Yoga. Would you like to try? Uh-huh. <laughs> hmm. That was fun. Okay, see you later. Anytime. <laughs> Zo, Bo, any chance you guys have seen Timmy? Uh... Uh, look, he's right there. <laughs> He must have come along and ripped off his hat after we left him out here. <gasps> oh, man! And he's stained with modeling clay, too! You think it's because they tried to fix him? They only made him look worse! <gasps> Does he want a new hat from a leaf? He doesn't. Plus, it's got worms in it. How about a helmet for him? Now he's like a knight. No, thanks. That's not really his personality. Hmm. Poor Timmy used to be cute, and now this. Yeah, we should have never left him all alone outside. <sighs> it's our fault this happened. What? We tried to save him from the rain, but then we tore his hat off. We're sorry, guys. And the clay was also us. We didn't want to tell you about it. Huh? We know that you probably don't want to be friends with us now. So, Bo, don't worry about that. We'll always be great friends no matter what. And actually, Timmy says a helmet looks pretty cool too. <laughs> Hmm, there must be a way to solve this. Miss Sheep, can we have some thread? Why, yes, of course. I always have some with me. This is such a great idea. I know, he totally likes it. Timmy looks the most handsome he's ever looked. And a hat to top it off. <laughs> Make your
yourselves at home. <laughs> oh. <laughs> ah. <laughs> <clears throat> Thank you for coming, dear guests. Won't you have a seat? Please help yourself. That sounds pretty good. You sounded very polite. Bo, <laughs> you know no one's here yet. I know that, Zoe, but I'm trying to show good etiquette like Dad taught me before they arrive. Huh. They're here. Ha! Huh. We made it! Hi, Hi guys. guys! Thank you for coming, dear guests, and welcome to our home. No, Zoe. Do make yourselves at home. Help yourself. At, at home, home, huh? Huh? Hooray! <laughs> Thanks a lot! Look, this is mine and Bo's bedroom. <gasps> make yourselves at home. All right. We'll make ourselves at home. Yeah. At home, we don't keep any books on tables. Wait! I wasn't done reading that yet. Oh. Uh. So nice of you to prepare some snacks. Thanks a bunch. You shouldn't leave your plates lying around, so I'll put it back. But that was there for my drawing. I'm not done. I needed that. You don't need this, right? Uh. I'll need this. Uh, also, we could use some pencils, please. Hmm. Oh! Uh, but Snowy, it took so long to make the bed nice. How else am I supposed to make a tent? Just like home. <gasps> Wait, what are you doing with my coloring book? I'm still using it. Well, I guess that... <gasps> hey, what if we did my coloring book together? Nah, I'll do it alone. Like I do at home. Hmm. That's much better. But why? You can't see anything in the dark. No, that's too much sun. How about we turn on a lamp instead? There. Now it's just like at home. That's much better. I think I need to just sit. I don't remember Dad warning us about this. Three o'clock! It's... Time to go home? Nope. It's time for our daily dance party. Third position. Hmm. <gasps> A spin on the dance floor. Hmm. One, two, three. Hmm. <laughs> <gasps> 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 <laughs> It's charge time! So, heads up! <laughs> hey, kids. You guys playing nice? Just don't forget to put everything where it belongs, okay? This stuff is where it all belongs. Just like at our home. But it's not this way at our home. Yeah. Now it's like we're visiting your house. Are, Are you, you sure? sure? We had everything set up the way we liked to make it feel like our space. And everything was in its proper place. Not now. But do you remember what you said? You said we could make ourselves at home. That's a polite thing you're supposed to say to guests. We didn't mean that you should actually turn our home into your home. We're sorry. We really misunderstood. We messed up. That's not very groovy. We can put everything back in its place. Huh? Hmm. Not so fast. We can at least finish dancing first. Since you're our guests, and we do want you to have fun. Let's go. Should we dance first or clean? How about both things?
Yoo-hoo! Who's up for some tea and snacks? Do you drink tea at your house? With yummy pie. Actually, for our snack, we have smoothies at home. But at your house, we'll be happy to have tea and pie. Because when you're at someone else's home, it can be fun to try new things. <laughs> now you two have to come to our house sometime. And you can make yourselves at home, right, Bo? <laughs> <laughs> Awful laziness. <laughs> well, back from the market? Yes, I like to go in the morning mm. when all the vegetables are nice and fresh. Theo, you're here. Come and play with us. Mm. First, I'll drop these bags off, and then I'll come out. Is that okay, Grammy? Now, Theo, I think you should take a nap. But, Grammy... I'm not a baby anymore. I don't have to take naps. Theo? My. Oh! Aha! <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Theo, now you're it. Huh? Close your eyes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> huh? Theo. Hey, what's the matter? Huh? Oh, I'm too tired to be blindfolded. We could always play regular tag instead, right? Uh-huh. Or hide. Huh? And seek. Mm. Maybe you guys should just play without me for a while. I just feel lazy. This is a tricky thing. I heard once that you have to cure your laziness right away. <gasps> or one day you'll wake up and you'll never want to do anything again. No, no, no. I want to do a whole lot of things. Hmm. But maybe I'll just do them tomorrow. We'll cure you, Theo. Stay right there. We'll think of something. Yeah. Help! This is an emergency! Do you know any cures for laziness, Dad? It so happens I do. The best remedy is to find something new to do. Like sports, for instance. We know how to cure you. You ready? Oh, well. I guess so. Huh? idea really isn't working. Right. We need something more interesting. Can any of you think of something? Uh, hey! I'll be right back. How about chess? Yeah. <sighs> <sighs> Fun, right? We'll gather the leaves and you can glue them. <sighs> A sand castle, maybe? <sighs> Wait, we forgot all about soccer. Theo loves soccer. No, I don't want 
to do much of anything either. I have a bad feeling. Theo's laziness might be catching. Yeah, it's kind of sneaky. I was okay this morning. I did my daily exercises. I washed all the dirty dishes after we ate breakfast. Done. I even helped Granny. Then later when we got home, I suddenly felt so lazy. Wow, that is kind of weird, right? You did all that without feeling lazy. And then like that, it changed. Angela! Snowy! Come inside now. It's time for your nap. Hooray! Nap time. Uh, they're so lucky. They get to nap during the day. <sighs> so why can't we have nap time? That's easy. We're grown-ups. Wait a minute. Grown-ups make decisions, right? You're right. I'm grown-up, so I can decide to have a nice nap. Me, Me too! Now that's what I call a grown-up decision. A letter to Santa Claus. There! <laughs> It's so cool, Gray. We get to celebrate at your house this year. I know. This year, I asked my mom to give me a book all about Bengal tigers. What did you ask Santa Claus for? Well, I guess I'd ask Santa Claus for lots of different stuff. If he really existed. Huh? <gasps> what? What do you mean? Then you? Wait, you mean you don't believe in Santa? Then who gets all those letters we write every year? And then leaves us all the toys we want under the tree. I saw him last year, outside my window. It was Santa Claus for sure. We all saw him. Yeah, totally. Yeah, that's right. Me too. Aw, uh, whatever. Anyways, I've got to go shovel. No way. He really doesn't believe in Santa Claus. He didn't write him a letter or anything? Santa Claus will be so upset. Wait, I think I have an idea. Are you warm enough, little boy? Sure, I'm plenty warm. A little hot, even. You haven't written your letter to me this year, Gray, have you? Uh, just who is that talking anyway? <gasps> well, um... Why? It's me, Santa Claus! Ho, ho, ho! And now, for huh? today's weather, we'll have some more snow. Well, hello, Gray. Oh, it's the radio. Hello there. Glad to see you. We came to decorate your yard. <laughs> huh? You're making pies? Uh-huh. I came to help you. <gasps> I think I'll make a cabbage pie. No! Jam pies are better. <laughs> ah. How about <gasps> strawberry jam? Um, maybe we should use a jam over here. Come on, Bo, hurry. I am. Hmm. The middle one's good. It's got cherries, see? I guess we'll have to pick out all the pits then. Ah, right, sure, the pits. Maybe cabbage uh, would be better. I just remembered, uh, I have to go. See ya. Phew. Ooh, did you draw these gray? Nope, wasn't me. By the way, did you write your letter to Santa Claus yet? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> 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 ho, ho, ho! 
I wonder why Gray didn't send me a letter this year. But Santa Claus, I just put my letter to you in the tree hole. Oh. Ah. Uh. Yeah. Oops. <gasps> so this was all your idea. Some friends you are. <sighs> Sweetie, is there something the matter? Zoe and everyone played a mean trick on me. They pretended they were Santa. And I believed them, and then wrote that dumb letter. What did you ask him for, dear? A snow scooter. <laughs> That's all? Also, I asked for my friends to always be together, and for us to never have a fight. <gasps> hey, hang on. Be right back. Huh? We're sorry, Gray. Honest. We didn't mean to make you feel bad. We just wanted you to believe in magic again. I was rushing out here to find you all, and here you are. That's magic enough for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> if you believe in magic, life really can be sweet. When life is sad and tragic, some magic makes it neat. Try just a little wonder, and soon you'll surely see what once was fun and humdrum one day works so wonderfully. But if you want your dreams to all come true, then giving is the best thing you can do. It's magic when you give a gift for free. It lives in love and generosity. And when you give until your heart is full, surprise, surprise, before your eyes, your life is magical. Open up your heart and you will find that life's a lot more lovely when you're kind. Magic is here when you hold each other's hand. That's what makes life truly grand. Grace new friends. Good morning. Ugh. Well, good morning, kids. Look at all those letters. Whoa, who sent you all that mail? All my new friends. Huh? I had no idea it was even possible to have that many friends. They published Grace poetry in a magazine. So cool. Congratulations. Thanks, you guys. Now I get letters from readers all over the world. But I have to answer all of them before the post office closes. Well, we came to invite you to Lizzie's house. We're going to go test out her new invention. <gasps> <sighs> I don't think so. Huh? Hmm? But I could go if I brought the letters along, too. Uh. Oh, oh, got it. Uh. Ha -ha. Huh? <clears throat> hey, Gray, may I have that blanket? Uh huh. Hmm. Gray, it's your turn. <laughs> oh. Why'd you throw the blanket on us? Oh, I'm sorry, but I was reading. Here you go. Be careful, sweetie. <laughs> the official game of handball. It's about to begin. Like soccer, but with your hands. creep up like a fly on the wall. <laughs> they spin and they swirl just like a <gasps> ball! <laughs> yeah, go! Gray, come on. We're losing here. Yeah, yeah, but just give me a minute. Because of that goal, <sighs> I didn't get to finish composing my note. 
Are you saying that these notes are more important than our game? Oh, in this one, my friend sent me his dad's recipe for pine cone jam. But what kind of jam recipe can I send them back? Hmm? Dandelion! I gotta go get it for my mom. Uh, how is our team gonna play without a goalie? I guess the ref has to call it. That means Lizzie, oh. Bo, <laughs> and Nick won. Uh, Aww. <laughs> <laughs> hey! <laughs> Next month, the weather here will be so cold. Great! Don't you want to swim with us? Not right now. My friends are waiting for me. Well, as long as those friends aren't kept waiting. <gasps> no! <laughs> oh no, my letters. Aww. I should have gotten distracted by your games. Uh, what? Well, I for one think you're distracted by these letters. Yeah, by all of those new friends. I don't have any new friends anymore. And my old friends don't get me at all. Huh? Hmm. Hmm. <sighs> when are you going to mail out your letters, sweetheart? Never, I guess. They're soaking wet. <gasps> and I was trying so hard to be loyal to my new friends that I hurt my old ones. Oh, but sweetheart, it's not too late to make up with them. Oh, Speaking of old friends. Hey, Gray. We picked up every single letter. Do you want us to help you with them? I'm so glad you're able to send the letters to your new friends, and just in time. Thank you, Bo. But since I wrote to them all about you guys, I bet they're going to be your new friends, too. Oh, wow! Thanks, old friend. I can't wait to write all of them. What? More writing? <laughs> <laughs>